Okay, question of the day. Um, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time, and it's about recycling in carbon fibre, um, specifically uh, related to the bike industry. But I'll give you a bit of background information um, first up. So, uh, people have been talking about recycling carbon uh, composite for quite some time, and it's proven to be very difficult. The, um, I went to a conference back in 2013 in, um, in Italy, um, it was run by the SAE and it was a, it was a composites conference relating to, um, uh, to cars etc, so you know, SAE is Society of Automotive Engineers. Um, at the conference on the um, the last presentation of the on this on the second day it was a two day conference. It was um, by a gentleman from the University of Nottingham, which is uh, one of the, the the world leaders in research in recycling for uh, for carbon composite. And everyone was really looking forward to seeing you know what he had to say about the future of recycling and how it's all the, all the problems are going to be solved and we able to recycle these materials and um, yeah, and, and solve all these problems. And he he gets up and he says, um, I'd love to be able to tell you that we can do all this stuff, but the reality is um, it's not so simple. And currently, probably the, the most effective use of this material is to burn it and produce electricity out of it instead of burning coal. Um, so that was that was 2013. I um, also went to the Cyclotech conference in uh, in Long Beach in the US in 2016. And again, there was there was lots of talk about recycling uh, recycling composite material. Um, Trek have spoken about recycling um, that you know they're going to be opening uh, recycling of their frames uh, other brands specialized etc and the people so people have been talking about this stuff for quite some time but there's never actually been any program in place of the likes ago okay you can you can bring your your used carbon fiber frame or tennis racket or whatever it is to this place and it'll be responsibly and ethically recycled so um, that hasn't eventuated so even in like I mean the big problem is in the uh, in the aerospace industry and uh, and a limiting factor in the automotive industry is this recycling so you know at the moment you've got all these um, these commercial airliners 787s Airbus A350s etc which use a lot of composite material, and we're talking tons and tons and tons in each plane of these materials. Um, what's going to happen to all these, um, to all that material at the end of that aircraft's life cycle? So, you know, in 20 years, 30 years, whenever it is, you're going to have a lot of material lying around. Um, and, and one of the limiting factors with the automotive industry is that. The um, the materials that you use in a in a car need to be recyclable, and and that's sort of one of the limiting factors, um, which is which is limited the take up of, of carbon uh, carbon composite in the automotive industry. So now, if we if we look at the at the big picture though, instead of um, the thing with recycling is recycling is getting a product which was a high value product and um, basically, you know, like in metals case, you, you can have a, an aluminium bike frame and at the, at the end of its life, you, you melt it down and into a lower grade, into a lower grade product. So, um, you know, that's typically what happens. So you don't, you don't go up the value chain, you tend to go down the value chain. So, what, um, you know, an, an, another approach which uh, 
in, in well, you know, I, and this is the approach that I've been taking, is if you repair instead of recycle, then you're maintaining the value of the product. So, like, if you have, if you have a if you have a frame that has got minor damage and you can repair that, well, that makes much more sense from an environmental perspective than like to repair that than to just say, oh, let's just scrap that and go and make a new one. So, you know, the energy cost in doing a, a repair is significantly less than making a new product. So, you, you, you know, from, from that side, you, you're also, you're maintaining value um, and you're reducing landfill. So, you know, but those two things. So, t typically, um, and it's unfortunate that these factors, they're, they're, they're driven by cost. So, so people will tend to, um, I mean, cost drives everything. So, if, if it's cheaper to replace something than it is to repair, people will typically just replace it instead of repairing it. Um, but there's the environmental cost of doing that, which is the negative, which is often forgotten about. So um, instead of all this stuff going to landfill, if we, the more things that we can repair or repurpose, that's a better approach than just recycling. Because um, you know, if you look at, you know, with with carbon not being able to be recycled um, that effectively what what is typically being used for is a, a as i said before you know you can burn it and produce electrical energy out of it or you can chop it up into little pieces and use it as a filler in in um you know for road for roads for like bitumen fillers etc um sometimes for tires and things like that so um there is a lot of research still being done because as i said this problem does need to be solved when all these aircraft start um, coming to their end of life. And so lots of smart people around the world are trying to solve this problem. However, at this point, it ha there hasn't been a, a ready solution. So, um, so from an environmental point of view, if you can repair something, that is a much better option than putting it into landfill. So. Think about that next time uh, you know, you, you're, you're looking at, um, you know, you, you, if you've damaged your frame, instead of just automatically thinking, oh, I'll just go and get another one, think of the environmental cost um, of that decision um, from a, a, a big picture, not just looking at the, at, at the small thing, uh, the small scale of it. So um, look what happens to those uh, scrapped, items and um, you know what you can do about that so um, so as I said my preference is is to repair I mean you can you could be cynical and say oh you're well, you just saying that because you're a repairer um, well you know there's always cynics in this world but if you if you look at the reality um, and uh, like this it's just pure facts if you can if you can repair something and continue to use it, well that item's not going into landfill and another one doesn't need to be produced to replace it. So it makes common sense, right? On that note, we'll leave it there and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, have a great day. Bye.